Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sliced Harshot here, and uh, this game is The Hunter. Not sure if you're familiar with it, it doesn't get much advertising, um, but man, I gotta tell you, this is probably one of the most beautiful games I've seen. Um, this game is uncomparable to any other hunting games out there, in my opinion. Um, yeah, also, I mean, you know, it's my opinion. Don't be in the comments going, no, it's not. Cabela's is this. You know, that's just what I think. I think this game is more realistic. Um, I I am a hunter in real life, and it this is unscripted. It's about as close as you're going to get as far as hunting games today, um, as far on how realistic they are. Um, just give you a little little tour here of me you know I got real I got a low score haven't been playing the game too long um, I have been watching uh, some of Billy the Crayons videos on YouTube I see some proxies um, my son is actually the one who introduced me to the game um, yeah go figure I don't know I I'm 33 years old he was 12 and um, he knows I hunt in real life he comes hunting with me sometimes but um, I have to say I'm pretty critical when it comes to hunting games I don't feel like all, all the other hunting games I feel like they're just gimmicks scripted animal play as far as walk to this edge of the field glass this area oh if you ever hear me say glass I mean like using your bin binoculars um, and I just I, I'm, I'm not too particular for games like that. It's like, oh, go over here. Oh, you see them two bucks, you know, obvious two bucks are out in the field fighting. Um, but I'm rambling. Anyways, but let's get into the game a little bit. Let's see here. Um, these are all of the lodges that you can hunt. Um, which is actually, I mean, the, the map in this game is enormous. I'll just give you a little short if you guys haven't seen it already. Um, if you're new and watching the video, this entire area, all the way around, and you'll see these little icons here. There are lodges, lodges, um, tree stand towers that are already fixed into the game that they they previously put. Um, that is a black bear bait barrel, and if you purchase one of them, let's see how. Wow, they have eaten that up. I just filled that up like two days ago, and I already only have nine, and the attractiveness is up 41 out of 100. So I'm getting some action there, but boy, they sure are pounding it. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. I am in competitions right now. They do have competitions. So... I really like, they just added this multi-species not too long ago. Settler Creek's Challenge, win a Parker Python bow. Now, for those who don't know, they are coming out with a new bow. It's supposed to be probably launching within the next couple weeks, or in about two weeks. Uh, the combined score of the top scoring animal harvest from each species at Settler Creek's is your score. The top five players with the highest score will receive a free Parker Python bow. So, I'm definitely going to be trying to win that. Alright, well, I've already preset everything I needed for that. And, uh, let's start. I'm going to start at 5 in the morning. There, I already have a ground blind. We'll see if there's any action around there. But I'm not going to just sit there, you know, for long periods of time. Let's go in if there isn't anything going on. Oh, well, while this is loading, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. I'm Slice Heartshot, and um, I've only recently built a PC in September. And I have to admit, this game here has been one of my motivations to actually build a PC. I started out playing this game on a laptop, and they do not work too well with this game very laggy don't get very good color things like that um i am recording
recording in 1080p my settings in the game are on ultra whatever you want to call it the highest settings you possibly get so I'm trying to bring you guys the best video quality possible that you can see on YouTube so <clears throat> I like to just, when I come in here, just head off straight. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the map. Let's take a look at the map real quick. Let that load up. No, it won't do that every time. That'll be the last time that it gets all blocky out there. It just got to load up for that first time. Um, I really like this area down here. This area seems to produce a lot of animals um, haven't been disappointed somewhere over here is usually pretty nice for me I have to admit I haven't done much of this mountainy area up top here I have went up and around this area not too many times but and usually get a lot of coyotes around this area or in this area if you spawn in from up top up here I believe I'm looking at that correctly correct me if I'm wrong in the comments don't get too uh, angry if you hear me saying something that isn't true <laughs> to my, the best of my knowledge most of the time I'm trying to bring you guys truth truthful information but you know sometimes it just might not happen there's my ground blind there See, I start out at 5, and I've always noticed, though, that when I come into the game, it's sunny, or, you know, you can just see the sun crest on the horizon there, and it looks really beautiful, and then there'll be, like, a dark, all of a sudden it'll just go dark, like a cloud instantly moved in front of the horizon over there, and... And it just like I I don't really particularly like that. It ha seems to happen every single time. So let's just go ahead and see if it happens again this time. Right over this hill here, there's a field down there, and uh, sometimes you can catch a bear kind of coming, working his way across that field. And I gotta tell you, bears in this game are spooky when they're being stalked. Um, you try to stalk bears on foot, they seem to run um, fairly when you're out in a distance yet. Um, they, they, they just seem to wind you or smell you, or um, wind you or smell you, two same things. But uh, see you or wind you or something like that. I stalked one bear one night for two and a half hours because he just kept busting me. Alright, well, I kind of see the leaves blowing downhill there a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and put some some scent killer on here. Oh, I already got it equipped. Dummy. Alright, here we go. Spray a little bit of that. Alright. Let's go glass this uh, field up here. Yep, there it is. That was the instant darkness. It happens every single time. Well, I don't see anything initially right now. I'm surprised I haven't got a call out. Wow, I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but I'm getting some kind of black tearing flash across my screen. Usually don't see that very often. Let's see, is that... Oh, there it was again. Alright. 
So I know it's there. I'm going to stop trying to point out the black flash across my screen. And usually when anything goes wrong with my computer, I get kind of concerned about it. So it's not it's not anything disruptive though. So let's just get back to hunting. We'll go ahead and walk across this uh kind of like a creek that ends up in a pond. You can see there that on the hunter mate. Um, it's kind of flowing off the main river over here on our left. Yeah, I'm not going to do... I'm trying not to do too much tutorial. Um, because most likely if you're looking at this video, you've already played this game. So... I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you guys every little thing that, you know, that I'm doing. Because I'm sure you guys played it. You might be just watching the video just to enjoy some uh, hunting gameplay. So, I apologize. Leave in the comments if you do need, uh, you know, some videos with maybe more in-depth tutorials on how to play the game or um, things like that. By any means, I'm not saying I'm the best at this game whatsoever. But it does seem to usually, every time I play this game, some pretty crazy stuff happens to me. <laughs> so, and and I've kind of figured out some pretty, some things, you know, like um, animal behavior, what they'll tolerate, what they, you know, mostly won't tolerate. I've kind of pieced that together pretty good. On most animals. But geez, can we even get a call out? So far, so boring. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, just state a fact too that I'm usually not the one that'll just like chase after every call, shoot every single animal that I see, um, things like that. If you do play the game like that, to me, when I've done that, it kind of gets a little repetitive and a little boring. It seems to be, to me, a little more exciting if you kind of pass up some mediocre bucks or small animals and kind of really go for the more ma you know mature, bigger animals and stuff. You get a little more rush out of it because you don't, because you understand. And they've kind of in, in put that in the game too like a, a bigger buck or a bigger bear moose whatever um, will have a little bit better senses than the smaller animals in this game which I really like a lot because that's actually how it is in real life when I'm bow hunting in um, real life you know you'll get the stupid little fawns little baby deer and the spikes you know they're not really understanding you know they got a good general idea of danger obviously but they they still get a little dumb sometimes and just wander around when more the mature bucks or mature animals will scope out the scene come in from downwind um, be a lot more cautious show themselves a lot less during daylight hours now I believe yeah, that, that, she's just a female hog, not too impressed with her, um, so I'm gonna just kind of ignore her, but, boy, I gotta admit, there just isn't much going on right now, maybe they kinda slimmed up the animal spawn, but since there's a multi-species, uh, competition going on right now, I'm not sure. You know, I'm just kind of throw that out there. It's kind of some things that I like to think about. You know, maybe they would do stuff like that. They don't want people coming in and just... Whoa. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It's time to get out of here, people. Wow. Did it run away? Or is it going to kill me? I didn't hear it run away. What 
it saw me and it did not like it <laughs> so let me just try to circle around here I might still be able to get a shot on that 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 was a hog by the way and yes they they will kill you yeah it looks like it growled at me and then ran off well I'm sorry about that I totally did not see her or him or that looked kinda like a big one like I stumbled upon that one that didn't seem like it was the one that squealed at me earlier let's see if we can cut a track on her for right now yep it doesn't seem that it wasn't the one that squealed at me earlier or else this this would be a solid red line I wonder where she most likely went up this way does seem like just unlike in real life you'll see that little that little hump out there that little you know nub or or something that looks like it's peeking off from behind a tree or whatnot and you'll think it's an animal so I just gotta know oh here's a what do we do for science I do droppings from a unique black bear one out of three completed there's the uh, broken circle on the hunter mate there which means that most likely that bear is somewhere beyond that circle that is actually a helpful tip so there's a white tail now see I'm I'm at least, I'm a level 6 going on 7 for Whitetail. I thought at level 5 it would ID um, tracks from an animal at level 5 and tell you what sex it is. I'm, I'm probably wrong because it's not doing it for me. I hope it's not a glitch. But I'm a little torn here. I don't know which way. Let's take a look at the map here. All right. Yeah, not a whole lot. Let's try to start swinging left and start cutting up this way. Maybe we'll get some action over here from something. Not a whole lot going on right now. That's just a white-tailed doe not worth your time most of the time unless you're trying out a new weapon or I have to admit when I got the them lighted arrow knocks I did shoot a doe first and it was funny because when I was tracking a doe I didn't get a very good shot on her and when I was tracking her boy it was a long long way and I had a white tail buck grunt at me and I was like okay maybe I'll, I'll pick, take up her track a little bit later or whatnot and 
I went over and put a nice ambush on a real 150 inch, real nice 150 inch uh, white tail buck and I'm watching him with my binoculars as he takes off and he falls and I'm like oh good good he's down and then I see something glowing off in the, I was like what is that and I look over there with my binoculars and there she was so that's just one of the added benefits to them Aeronox plus they just look really cool to me they really do that that track is going the other way but oh, did I just hear something it's thick in here probably not going to see much in here unless they call out and I can kind of pinpoint them most likely you're going to just come across something and hopefully it's not a bear because if it's a bear this hunting trip is going to end fast they do not like to be surprised in this game Let's go down here by the river. Let's see if some animals in this game they're it they do also have like feeding, drinking and eat you know, more feeding sequence bedding sequences. Let's see if we can find a black bear roaming the uh river bank. Let's see what this is here. Yeah, turkeys aren't my favorite animals in this game. They're okay. One arrow, pretty much. Let's go after this one. Let's see. What, let's see if we. This is the the. This is the feral hog that either called to me, or was going to kill me at the fence line. I'm not sure. Just take a look and see what this is. Feral hog is running. So, yep. A little spooky today. Maybe they want me to slow it down a little bit. Might have put uh, animal sensitivity real high since there's a Parker bow competition going on. is thick down here probably should have started at like nine o'clock or something huh they're still pretty active um, at nine they'll start like bedding down I think around 11 ish 12 which they're really tough then that's the second one of that one Sorry, I stopped. I thought I heard something there in front of me. I'm sorry. My bad. Let's see here. Yeah, it's pretty thick down here. the 
wrong button there. Yeah, you'll have that. I probably never used a keyboard in my life until last September. Solid black line. Alright, it's time to start taking it easy now. Maybe even try to set up some kind of uh, ambush point around here. Let's see if maybe we can find a real nice tree around. Uh... Let's go ahead and give out a pig call now. The good old hog squealer. See if we can't bring in a big old boar around here somewhere. That looks like a nice tree. Maybe set up the tree stand in right there. Do a little tree stand hunting. Turkey. Wow, they're so far they don't even show up in the hunter mate. Alright, we'll uh... I love the tree stand, but boy did they make it uh... What am I stuck on? Jeez. Really? They made it very noisy. If when you put it up it there's it's like a hundred yard if there's any animals within a hundred yards of you, they are gone. Maybe even farther, I'm not sure. If you have an opinion on that too, I'd like to know. Let's see, where's 100 yards at? That tree there is at 84. Okay, that tree seems to be about 91, I wanna say. So, anything around in a circle around that area they are gone which happens to be maybe the circle that I had with those pigs so I would love to win that Parker bow and just to refresh your guys' memory, it's the highest of average of all of your highest scoring animals that you harvest. So we are definitely trophy hunting here. Because I need a big whitetail, a big feral hog, a big bear, and a big turkey. Those four animals are on the hit list. I might have to break this up into a couple couple uh, videos. But I don't have anything to do tonight and this looks like it's gonna be it. So I'll I'm not in too much of a rush. I'll try to keep it as boring less boring as possible. Is, I'll try to keep it as boring as possible for you guys, just to let you know. <laughs> I do smoke cigarettes, so you will hear a lighter flash every now and then. Yeah, I might smoke other things too, but let's just keep that on the down low. Try to see if we can get a What's what am I doing? There's turkeys around here. I might as well hit the box collar.
This is actually a nice little river bottom point right here. If it was nice and sunny, this would be some pretty nice land right here. Be a nice spot to maybe leave up a tree stand. I only own one, and man, this doe just refuses to go away. What is that? Is that a... Oh, that thing right there looked like maybe a blonde colored pig. Come on, it sure would be nice to get a call back from a big old fat piggy. <laughs> you can use that in a different analogy. Sure, don't seem to co want to cooperate today. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Usually would have at least had three pig calls, maybe a white tailed buck by now. Maybe spotted a brown bear somewhere. Wow, that fog is thick. Take a look at the map. When you go to your map, things do not pause, so don't be afraid to look at your map as much as you'd like when you're sitting in tree stands maybe plot out some nice ambush spots when you click up here on the map it shows you uh, elevations which is a nice commodity around this area here you might be looking across we do not have favorable wind so I definitely need to make sure that my scent killer doesn't wear off when there's any animals around if there's any animals around because they will wind me right away out front here try that box collar again see if we can get a response let's try the why not let's hog squeal again too maybe we'll turn them towards us if you don't know already, this game, when you call an animal, they come right to you. And I don't particularly like that. Wow, that doe just does not want to go away. Seems to like that hog squealer, though. Look, a pig right there. Come out of nowhere. Let's see. Looks like a female. Yep, yeah, it's a female. We'll stick her anyway. Get some action going on. Yeah, you can tell I'm low score because right now she should already have a red outline and some kind of description. She's at 23, so she's already in range. So let's just bring out the uh, binoculars here. Maybe I can get her. All spot your animals. Spot your animals the best you can. Um, it really does help out. I've seen guys that have seven, nine hundred, you know, hunter score point, and they still don't even have their spotting up to level 20 yet. They'll have everything maxed out at level 20 except for their spotting. Kind of hog crunch right there. Wow, she is locked up, ain't she? She does not want to come over here. You gotta have a big old boar around you somewhere. Can't just be hanging out by yourself. Uh, I want to apologize in advance. I do not have. I used up all my um, my lighted knocks yesterday, so I don't have any lighted knocks right now. Let's go ahead and draw on her. I hope she. I hope there isn't another pig. Ordering shot. Let's just try to stick her. Yeah, with we'll compound bow, snake bite, camouflage, skill up. You reach level five. Sweet. 
We just dropped her right there in the tracks. No, no tracking job on that one. Spined her. Bow is fairly quiet. Um, they did have in the description of the Parker bow that it was going to be more quiet. Not really sure what that means as far as if you have maybe multiple animals in front of you and you shoot one, is it going to be like the other animals aren't going to hear the shot? Is that what makes the other animals flee? Or is it the animal that you shot fleeing make the other animals flee? If you know this, let me know, please, because I don't know what it is. Yeah, so, well, there's not much going on, and I only have about an hour or two, hour, hour and a half of record time on my hard drive so I'm thinking yeah I made a I introduced myself and you know this is um, I probably haven't mentioned this is the very first video I've ever captured so um, hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys and I think I might just stop here maybe make a separate video we might get a little bit more action let's just check her out now, shoulder blade, spine, score 313, not too big. Just take a quick picture of her. Gives me position 270 in the Settler Creek. Wow. <laughs> People are definitely wanting that Parker. I mean, I'm not saying she's not a big animal by any means, but I'm thinking that there is going to be a lot of people. I should have checked that number. I didn't look on how many people are actually going to be competing in this, but I am sure it's everybody who plays the hunter is going to be going after that. Oh, I thought I saw something over there. Oh, and just to inform you guys, in case you don't know, when you get in and out of your tree stand, it hardly makes any noise at all. So, um, if you get out of your tree stand, crouch down or crawl up towards him, maybe lay out some scent, come back, get in your tree stand with animals close in your vicinity, it's not going to hurt anything. What well, The only thing that, that does hurt things is actually when you take the tree stand down and put the tree stands up, or the tripod, ground blind, you know, things of that nature. So, But yeah, let's go ahead and stop recording, and I'm going to make another video doesn't seem like anything's going on here. I don't want to bore you guys too much. So let's just go ahead and uh, stop here. And remember, uh, knock them down, drag them out, and keep those arrows bloody. All right, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.